Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial in our mini series for building websites in our blog down. Today we'll show you how to create a custom color theme and because GitHub has recently updated their security measures, we'll also show you how to push to GitHub using access tokens. So let's go ahead and get started in our studio. So here we can see our beautiful website. And if you remember, we chose a custom color theme uh, a while back in one of the earlier tutorials. We can go into our config folder and see the params file. And this is where we set our theme originally and we chose the ocean default setting. Now we can go back to our WildTree documentation. Uh, just as a reminder, this has a lot of important you really useful information and step-by-step -step guides. So if we scroll down, here are the default color themes and here's our ocean. But for today, we're actually going to create our own. So here are some step-by-step -step instructions for how to create your own color theme. So this is what we're going to work through right now. The first step is to copy a color theme such as minimal, and we want to save it to a specific place within our repository. So in a data folder and then a themes folder. So let's go ahead and open this just to take a look. And here we're taken straight to GitHub and we have the code that we want to copy. So I'm gonna copy this and again, data themes. So let's go back to our studio and at the root of our project, we actually don't have a data folder, which is fine. We'll just create one now. And then inside here, we'll create our themes folder. Let me just double check. I spelled that right. So data themes. All right. And now this is where we're going to want to save our new file. So I have it on my clipboard. So I'm going to open up a new script and paste it in. So here's our minimal theme. And I'm going to, even though right now it's an R script, I'm actually going to save it as a toml file. And here we want to go into our new folder that we just created and save, I'll just save it as custom.toml. And it's going to ask, I'm just converting it to a toml file, so that is okay. And now you can see it even says the toml down here. Okay, great. Let's just rename this so it's consistent, so it matches our labeling here. So the name of our new theme is just custom. And now what we can do, all we have to do is go back and rather than ocean, we can just specify custom. And if we save this, let's take a look. You can see it actually already updates. And of course, this is just the minimal theme because we haven't made any uh, modifications yet. Okay, so now is the fun part. Now you can spend hours trying to figure out exactly what colors that you want for your website. Um, there is one website that I think is really great and really useful. It's this coolers website. You can either make a palette, um, which I spent way too long on that before, or for right now, we're, let's just look at some of the more popular palettes. You can see it's their trending palettes. Okay, great. Hmm, there's so many options. I think I'm liking these blues. So what I'm going to do is open this and put it side by side with my R. All right, so let's take a look here. The first thing I'm going to do is set the color for the menu bar. So right now it's set as white. And at the same time, I'm going to set the color of these icons and some of the links. So let's do kind of like a, maybe a dark blue. Let's see how that goes. Let's copy this one. So you can play around with all these, but because I've done this before, I know that this one and this one is for the menu bar. Now, sometimes if we save it, let's see if that works. Sometimes it updates. 
but sometimes, let me expand it again, we have to reserve the site. Okay, so here we go. So now you can see we have our dark blue at the top and it matches the icon colors here and also the links here. Okay, so that's one. Let's, what other colors do we want? I'm thinking maybe like a pale blue for the writing. Let's take a look and see. Ooh, okay, how about here? I'm going to put this for the home sections and I'll show you what this does in just a second. Oh, and we have to make sure, I guess I can show you, there are a couple of ways you can specify the arguments. You can do the RGB or you can do the hex with the um, hashtags. So this is the way that I've been doing it and you have to make sure you have the hashtags here. And let's also make this text that same pale blue. So this will change the text up here, but you can also see that there's this highlight feature um, and the menu title. So let's make this, mm, let's just do a, a nice bright pink just so everyone can see what it looks like. <laughs> Hopefully this looks good, but we will test it out now. Okay, we have to of course save our work. Now I've set it so it's only the light is true, so I'm not going to worry about the dark for right now, but you do have those options there. All right, let's see how this looks. Let's try that again. All right, let's open this up and take a look. Cool, I actually really like that. The, the pink is a little bit bright, but definitely captures your attention. Oh, I don't know if I like that as pink, but you know what, we'll keep it for now. And you can see it highlights pink over here. So we have the dark blue, the light blue background, the dark blue text also, and the highlighting at the top. Okay, cool, I'm very happy with that, actually, surprisingly. So we can keep that as it is. Make sure to save it. I did wanna show you just one quick way that you can also find that minimal TOML file for whatever reason in case this link doesn't work. So in case this GitHub page doesn't work, you do have this within your repository. It's just kind of a challenge to find exactly where it's located, but I'll just point it out right now. If you go to themes, GitHub, wow, should we go all the way through this process? And I believe in data. And we have another themes. And finally, now we have all of these files. So for example, this was the ocean one that we had before. You can see, you can just copy it and create it a new file the way that we did it here. But you don't want to save it within this file, you want to save it within the folder that we created at the beginning. So within data and themes. Okay, great. So now that we have the color theme that we want, the last thing that we have to do is push to GitHub. So I'll just try to go through the way that we normally do. So first we stage and then commit. Custom. And finally, we push. So here, I actually anticipated this happening, but here we see that we get an error, a fatal error, so that's never good, but it says authentication failed. And this is because, so I'm just going to minimize this for now, this is because GitHub has recently updated their, as I said before, their security measures. So in order to push to GitHub, we now have to get a personal access token. So to do that, I'll just quickly show you how we can go back to this is just my GitHub homepage. If you go, you can click on that drop down arrow from your icon and go to settings. This is actually pretty straightforward, so hopefully no one will have any issues with this. 
you in developer settings, here you can see the personal access tokens. So this is what we want. And we want to, you can either click here or here, generate new token. Let's do color theme. And so this token, it's pretty much just giving GitHub permission to um, allow you to make the changes and push. So you can set the expiration date. We'll just do seven days. I'll probably, I'll end up deleting this after because you really want to treat these tokens as passwords. So the fact that I'm sharing it with everyone now, it's not great. So I will make sure to delete it after this recording. Here, you just want to select the scope. So I'm just going to check off all the repos and I'm going to just use that information and generate our token here. Okay, so that was pretty easy. So now we have, this is our token and we have to make sure to copy it. All right, now in order for us to use this token within our studio, Happy Git, this website has um, really a great page on helping us understand what we need to do. So the first thing we'll need is this Git creds um, package. I'm going, well, I can't copy that. Let me just open it up here. All right. So here, let's, so you can, everyone can see. The first thing you'll want to do is install, where did it go? Scroll down. Here it is. Git creds. All right, now I already have it installed because I've tested this out before, but make sure to run that line of code. And now we can load in the library. So we just need to set our credentials. So it's git cred, so grit credentials and set. All right, and now we're just prompted with entering our password or a token. And again, you have to make sure that you've copied your token here and now we can just paste it in and that's it so now it says it's done and now i'll make this full screen again you can see it says our branch is ahead because we've actually already done the staging and committing but so we don't have anything here but we still do need to actually push it to github and now you can see Fortunately, no more fatal errors, and it has successfully pushed to GitHub. So that's that's everything that we needed to do. And now, and now, hopefully, everyone knows how you can easily use the access tokens in order to talk to GitHub. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and looking forward to seeing you next time.